Welcome in this video where you'll see how to file your flight plans. In the flight plans tab, we can make a new flight plan by pressing the plus in the top right corner. Because we already have one aircraft profile in our app, this aircraft is automatically selected for this flight plan. Optionally, you can edit the aircraft profile to suit your needs for this flight. Because we have loaded an aircraft profile, a lot of data is already in our plan. This makes filing flight plans fast and efficient. In this way, you do not need to enter information twice. Let's start by setting our departure point. We can easily do that by tapping in the ICAO code of an airfield. If we are not sure what the code is, we can search the airport by tapping on the blue arrow on the right of the departure button. Press the magnifier button and type in the name of the airport or city nearby the airport. Choose the correct result to select it and the map will move to its position. By pressing the blue arrow, you can set the chosen airport as your departure point. If you would like to select the takeoff alternate, tap the nearest airport option and select an option available from this list. In this case, I select Antwerp as my takeoff alternate. Set the date and time for your departure. As with the departure, you can either set the arrival airport by typing in the four-letter ICAO code or by pressing the blue arrow and search for it. Or use this to check the location on the map. An alternate can again be chosen from the nearby airport list. As you may have noticed, some of the airports in this list have a colored dot before the name. This indicates that we have weather available for these airports. A green dot represents VFR weather, a blue dot marginal VFR and an orange dot IFR. A red dot means intensive IFR weather. A grey color means that this airport doesn't provide any weather information or there is no information available at this moment. The color of the dot is based on the forecasted weather at the time of landing. The flight plan app calculates the estimated time en route with the available information and the color of the airport gives you an estimate of the weather at the time of landing. Please note that this function will only work if you download our free weather app from the App Store. The cruising speed and flight level is already pre-filled from the aircraft profile. Optionally, you can change them here. Finding a route is normally a time-consuming task when flying IFR, but with the AeroPlus flight plan engine, this is a breeze. Just click on the magnifier in the top and select a quick search. Within a few moments you will be presented with a list of available routes. The times shown here are based on the aircraft performance entered in the aircraft profile. We use an average climb gradient to cruising altitude and calculate the EET based on the actual winds aloft at the time of the flight planned route. According to our users, these times are very accurate. Tap the map button to visualize a route. And by tapping on the route itself, you can activate the route in the flight plan. Sorry to disappoint you if you expected a harder way to find a route for your planned IFR flight. By pressing the validate button, we can check if the flight plan is valid according to Eurocontrol. The magnifier on the EET button can be used to update the calculated estimated elapsed time. For example, to check prior departure if the forecasted winds aloft shortened or lengthened the EET. Let's move on with the flight plan. If needed, we can add information in field 18. But as we've already set up our aircraft PBN capabilities in the aircraft profile, I can move on to the next item. Set the endurance and the persons on board. We are now ready to file the flight plan. Press the button in the top right corner and tap file. The flight plan will be accepted in the next few minutes. If you are in another app, don't worry, we'll send you a push message to confirm the accepted flight plan. Refresh the page to see the accepted message appear. By opening the flight plan, we can view the ATC messages 
and review the flight plan distribution. Sometimes there is no ATC available at your departure or destination aerodrome. By sending an arrival or departure message from the app, you can activate or close your flight plan yourself. If we need to delay our flight, use the options here. Cancelling the flight plan is done by tapping on the Cancel Flight Plan button. To delete a flight, simply swipe your fingers over the flight plan from left to right and press the Delete button. This concludes our flight plan app overview. Please check the last two videos on filing VFR flight plans and Zulu 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 departures or arrivals.